Happy Sunday, everyone. We made it to Canary Islands, baby. First leg of the Atlantic crossing done and dusted. Hey, buddy, how are you? <laughs> What's up? We just done a quick stop overnight. We didn't even have dinner, we just went to bed. Brittany's just getting up now. Alright, sexy legs. Oh, I feel good. Doing us to stay here and relax. Kind of. Ah, oh, psych, we can't. There's 40 knots coming. Judging by these cliffs, they all like have this like mean slope upwards like this through a channel here. So I think this is gonna be a really bad place to kind of ride out. 30, 40 knots of wind. So we're gonna go south of the island. It's an eight hour trip. We did want to go to Las Palmas, uh, but Brittany's not feeling very well. She's pretty sick. So we thought we might just go lay low because we have a lot of friends in Las Palmas and they're all getting ready to cross the Atlantic as well and that. So we don't want to get them sick. We know if we go to Las Palmas, we're not catching up with them having a drink and it's just inevitable. So we'll just keep away <laughs> from the situation. Why, God, why? <coughs> Searching for a brighter day. Okay, what? Okay, let go of the down and pull up on the up. The up won't go. Do we let go of the down? Yes. The up is stuck. Did you let go of the down? It's completely off. See, Brittany doesn't like being told what to do, and she doesn't like not knowing what to do. So we've got this pole, we've never used it before. We just started using it for this first time of this trip, so we're kind of learning how to put pole up. But we've only done it twice, our second time. Now we did it crossing down to Canary Islands, now we're doing it just now. But you know what, it'll take a few times, but we'll get the hang of it. And then next time we put it up, hopefully soon, we won't hate each other when we put it up. Jackson wants to come down because I'm here. No, stay there, mate. Why don't you come down here for? You come hang out with Dad. Oh, come on, mate, lay down. All right, I'm gonna get Jackson settled again. Got very little wind, which is why I got the pole out. And we got about one and a half meter swell, and it's kind of rocking us around, so it's not very comfortable. Hey, mate, you all right? <laughs> Try to get your sea legs, eh? Yeah, I know. It's only a five hour trip today, so we're halfway through it. We'll be there, drop anchor, we'll sit for a few days, do some videos, get some work done. Up to our website, and then we'll uh, head across to Grand Canaria. Sky is blue and I found you brand new. Sky is blue. Got in and dropped anchor out the front of a place called Rubicon Marina. We're too cheap to pay for the marina, and we've been rocking and rolling all night. We had dishes fly off the kitchen sink. We got like the four meter swell out there wrapping around the island and we couldn't get in far enough to be protected from it. So we've given in, we're gonna pay the 30 or 40 bucks and pull into the marina. We're just gonna pull into the marina here, give the boat a really good wash down because after that four and a half day passage, it's covered in salt. We're gonna do a bit of exploring through the Canary Islands, but we're really excited to get across to Cape Verde and then down to Suriname and South America, obviously, and up to the Caribbean. So I think we're gonna take like two days to ride out some really nasty weather that's coming through. We'll make the most of being in the marina, kind of give the boat a reorganization, try and get rid of this cold. Also, I did a COVID test and it came up negative, so nobody panic and think that I'm going around spouting out the bubonic plague or anything. It's just a common chest cold. <laughs> need to get this boat clean and we need to get this chick healthy for the next part of the adventure. <laughs> Three days later. All right, it's 3 a.m. We're gonna head across to Grand Canaria, Las Palmas, which is like the main hub where everyone goes. We're gonna try and get there by sunset. Pull into the Las Palmas, baby! Yeah. Sexy legs, hey? 
Crazy legs? Sex kitten, you little baby. What? I can't even see because the sun's like right in my face. And we've got like more cargo ships here than we did. And in the Dardanelles, this is nuts. And this is my view right now. Thank God for AIS right now. Because I'm tracking them all here, I got this bad boy coming right up behind me. I swear he's like aiming for me, Brittany. Every time I move, he moves. Just like that. Stand up! <laughs> move, move, move. Stand up! <laughs> I can't even see you. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I just can't hide it. No, <laughs> don't do that. Got a lost farmers, baby. We're gonna practice making babies. Tonight in the anchorage. What's the matter? Mm. Don't know how to let your hair down. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome committee. While Jackson takes a shit. <laughs> That's terrible. You go do it. Oh, it's filming. Hey. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. We've gotten here to Las Palmas, but we've got a lot of stuff to do. We've run out of gas for our stove. So we've been, luckily we've got a microwave. So we've been microwaving pre-cooked meals the entire time. Yeah. I recently learned how to cook rice in the microwave. Also Ryan dropped his phone in the ocean. There he goes. Yeah. Should it oh, like a let it grow out a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Let it dry. Okay, oh, yeah. it's still working. <laughs> In the race we go. So if you've been trying to get in contact with him, that's Yeah, I've got avoid. no phone, guys. And in the meantime, our friend has just arrived from Gibraltar. Congratulations! You guys must be tired, eh? This is how we do it on the water. <laughs> they just dog you. So that's Robin and his crew on a leader. Hey, mate. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, so we get... Oh, sorry, mate. Jackson's just like... <laughs> Coming down the stairs, buddy, eh? We'll catch up with them later too as well. We'll hug out for dinner tonight and meet everybody, so we'll bring the we'll bring you guys along with us. <laughs> Your hat is covered in uh, dog. I can't right? get the dog for it, but I gave up. <laughs> oh, no. so we'll go in there. So we got Rick here. Hey Rick. Rick's our tour right. guide for the day. He's uh, he's crossing in the ark here on January 9th. Don't forget about Murray. Oh, and Marie. Oh, sorry. His lovely, beautiful wife is here too, but she's back on the boat. We caught up over in the Balearic Islands. We've just been hanging out and swapping paths since, haven't we, really? Everyone's leaving today and we're getting serious FOMO. So we're going to say bye. Yeah, put it there. Put it there. Enjoy it. <laughs> See you okay, in the Canaries. Uh, yeah, give it to you. Canaries, safe, safe. Here we are. The next step will be the Caribbean. We'll bump into you guys. Where are you arriving? St. Lucia. Lucia. Rodney Bay, yeah. We're uh, come for a walk. We're going to go get this memory card sorted. Recently I made a video on how to make a DIY water maker for this reason because you ruined the memory card. I ruined it. No, because Brittany's mum ruined the memory card. Brian, you ruined <laughs> water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to say we dropped the memory card off. That's what I'm trying to say. So the guy's going to get back to us later in the week, the memory cards. We're not going to We didn't reenact this. <laughs> Thanks, thanks Rick. <laughs> Rick's finally saved us oh. with our gas situation. But no more microwave and coffees, thank yeah, God. Yeah. He's just giving us some gas to figure out our plans and what we're gonna do. Whether we use the whole thing or half of it, we'll refill it for him when we get back to him, eh? Boom. All right. What a change. Thanks, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they're in um, the Bavaria Centre Cockpit. Beautiful boat. Yeah, yeah. Our motor cut out, and our robber's motor's cut out. <laughs> we can't get it started. 
Go on, keep pulling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, have, have a so we're saying bye to the guys on No Worries tonight. We're heading to Cape Verde. See you on the other side of Africa. Yeah. Uh, so we're out for a few goodbye drinks. More than a few. More than a few. <laughs> no, no, we'll do it. We'll do it in time. So every five minutes, we'll bring it over a couple. Of, because of COVID, we can't have a full table of eleven. So we're going to spread it out, and, and every 10, 15 minutes, we're going to sneak the tables over and then keep shuffling them. Hey, Casper, Casper, wake up. Belgian beer. Yeah. Cheers! Uh, Willers and Wills! Uh, uh, uh. Alright, no, right, it's time to move this over one more. Oh, Brian. Totally moving us For the rest, you know, uh, good weather that you have been all day. There we go. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Oh. All right. Yeah, I forgot about that. When I saw something in heaven, you turned my darkness into day. Oh. Plausible deniability. A couple inches, so you <laughs> cannot break the law. All right, guys. So operation table move done and dusted. You may have gone a bit too fast, so we had to pull it back an inch. Every inch counts, hey Brittany? Would you like Oh my god. Alright, I'm filming in the bathroom here, just so Brittany can get involved in what's up. We're heading to Cabo Verde in like 48 hours. We decide we're just gonna go, we're gonna do it. There's some shit wind coming in a few days, and it's like we're gonna be stuck here for like at least two weeks if we don't leave now. So we're going for it. Now we have to go and stock up on food. I need to cook. We gotta stock up on food, bring these to cook, and we gotta finish our video for on Sunday. So anyway, let's go shopping. Ryan's having a heart attack because we just hit 500 euro. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Lou. Oh. <laughs> so, basically, I always say Brittany loves her food. I do too. But, like, we spent just as much as these guys with three of them. <laughs> and there's only two. Hi, guys. Cheers. Cheers to going broke. <laughs> yeah, cheers to spending all our money on food. Yeah. Now we're going to try and get petrol and lunch. Yeah. Alrighty. Taxi. You're everywhere. Our provisions have arrived. <laughs> Jump, mate. I thought we should have got more milks. Oh. Good morning, everybody. Happy Atlantic prep. Like you got muscly arms. Brittany's huge. <laughs> All right, so Ryan's about to jump in the shower, and I'm about to jump in and tackle the mound of groceries that are behind you. We are done for grocery shopping, apart from like fresh fruits and veggies, for quite a while. Otherwise, we're in trouble because we cannot afford to buy more groceries. I'm gonna do a ton of meal prep, fill our fridges, fill our freezers, because we think we might be heading off tomorrow to. Cape Verde. We've got a vet coming today at 7 to vaccinate the pooch. So we got a lot to do today. Let's get this done. I'm running out of room. Oh my lord <laughs> yeah we definitely will not be going hungry 
No. There is some healthy food under here. So look at that. Namely over here. We will be eating well, but we will probably be fat. Yeah. <laughs> so now the problem is trying to find somewhere to put all this. Oh, I just get myself a wedgie. I might move my tools out of here. Yeah, I think you're gonna and, have uh, to. And we can put some stuff in there. I'm trying to rationalize it in my head. So I'm thinking in our forward cabin, cause we don't have anybody staying in there. I'm gonna put all the snacky treats, like just the grab and go kind of stuff. And it's also a lot of light stuff that like we'll start picking through pretty quickly. I need to reorganize some of our cupboards underneath in our bilges. Put a lot of the canned stuff, like things that we're not gonna be touching for a long, like quite a while, so it doesn't need to be super easy and accessible. It's like a puzzle, so. All right, midway check-in. I've actually managed to clear most of the stuff. Now it's Ryan's beer, Ryan's Coke and Pepsi, Ryan's tools, and I gotta do quite a bit of cooking and then that'll free up space in the fridge to start storing meals and stuff. As of right now, it's all just ingredients shoved All in right, guys, so I'm deep in meal prep at the moment. I've already cooked up some burger patties, packaged them, they're pre-cooked. They're gonna go in the freezer and then all we have to do is defrost them, one burger each, and we're good. I made some taco meat, got three of those going. I started cooking my chicken curry and I thought I'm gonna stop and grab the camera and share this one with you guys because I don't know if I have the floor and it's so good. So all I've done is sauteed a ton of garlic and a ton of onions in my pressure cooker with some butter and olive oil. I've thrown in a kilo of chicken breast. I did that because I'm making a huge batch. Throw in a whole ton of gram masala, which is a really nice spice blend. Turmeric, ginger, uh, brown sugar, sometimes honey, can of tomatoes, chicken stock, a little bit more butter at the top, and then I seal it off once it comes to pressure i cook it for about 10 minutes and then once that's done and i pull it open and the chicken's you know pulling apart i'll add a little bit of heavy cream just to thicken it up and it basically becomes like butter chicken but not authentic my version of butter chicken don't come for me because that's not exactly a butter chicken but it's delicious we've got the vet Sit, here buddy. yeah <laughs> doing the ones over for jackson just hey, in mate. case he gets a bit like anxious yeah yeah oh yeah there we go now you can do anything now Hey, buddy. Smile. Smile, buddy. Smile, Jackson. Yeah, yeah, smile. Hey, buddy. You're a good boy. <laughs> oh, you're a good boy, Jackson, <laughs> hey? Shots are done. Hey? It's itchy. You're getting yeah, yeah. Is it? Oh, you're itchy. Is it normal? Oh, you get itchy. <laughs> It has been a lovely boy. Oh, thank good you boy, so much. Buddy. Yes, That's thank right, you so guys. <laughs> you good boy. Oh, you want more? You want another one? <laughs> you want another shot? <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Much for nice everything. to meet you guys. You've been amazing. Bye. <laughs> Have a nice trip. All right, Mr. Jackson's all sorted. Not feeling too hot after a shot. He's gone a bit sooky, like, what did happen to me? The veterinarian was so sweet. She was the nicest woman and she was so helpful. Like obviously with our situation with the dog, it's a bit unique traveling around with him. She did a ton of research to make sure she was, was up to date for him and all the paperwork was in order to travel to Cape Verde. And then even onto the Caribbean, she looked into his travels in the Caribbean. I mean, we pretty much knew that he was all good, but it was nice to have her confirm it. She contacted the government, just followed up everything. So it was really good. So much nicer having somebody come to the boat, especially not having a car. It's just so hard. A lot of the time the vets aren't that close. So that's all done and dusted for Mr. Jackson for the year. Oh, that sounds like her email's coming through. And that's about it. Ryan's brushing his hair like a woman. I've got a big mat in the back here. Can you help me? Oh, oh, oh shit. What are you doing? It really hurts. You're like pulling the same piece. <laughs> no, yeah. you don't need to cut it. Just leave it. As you can see, we are almost jam packed. I got two lasagnas going in the oven right now. So I've got those two lasagnas cooking now. Leave them out on the counter to go to room temperature. Cut them up in individual portions, wrap them up and freeze them. That'll be the last of the space in, in that freezer. And then some fresh meals for while we're underway. The reason I pre-cook everything, A, I don't have to spend as much time down in the galley, but B, it also saves gas. So we'll refill our gas tank right before we leave. And then while we're underway, we don't have to use as much gas to 
to, to eat. So the boat remains a disaster, but that'll quickly, don't even look at the kitchen. It's been destroyed. Ryan's upstairs doing some laundry. That, we're ready to go. All right guys, so those are my breakfast muffins. They're basically just a hash brown omelet in a little muffin. Anything you'd like in an omelet, go for it. And if you really wanna be lazy, instead of cutting up the potatoes and frying off your own homemade hash browns, like a bag of frozen hash browns instead. Ryan can eat these cold if he wants. Anything to not have to cook on passage. Now the problem will be keeping Ryan from eating them before we leave tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Guys, it's time to talk business. We are getting ready to leave the Canary Islands. All we have to do is pull the tender up on the bow and pull up our anchor. So we're super excited. The weather looks pretty good. It's looking light, but doable. So we could get there in about five and a half days, but more likely it'll pre probably be more like six, seven days because we're gonna take it slow and easy. We're really looking forward to getting there. Jackson's had his walk. Our fridges are absolutely stacked full. Overflow of yummy food is in fact overflowing. I've downloaded Netflix. We just have to go. So we'll get this dinghy up and we'll see you guys in a sec. We're gonna go back to Africa. We're gonna go back to Africa. We're gonna go back to Africa. Are you excited? Oh. We want Brittany to recover because she's got no self control over herself. You whip out a GNT and she's down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling slightly haggard. You look haggard. I'm haggard. <laughs> out. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that's the swell. I currently, I, stop. Go on. We're gonna stock up for the, yeah. Uh... That lighting's terrible, look at how red you are. Well, I'm in the bathroom, Brittany, what you You can't expect? use that. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Shit, Brittany, the door's got my pocket I'm stuck. Day, whatever. Okay, okay. Nice. relax, relax. More tips from Brittany on eating your life away. <laughs> 